and Sean was amazing. He had the patience of a saint, that guy, even though he'd probably yellow card me for saying that. Yes. Yellow card. Ah, a yellow card. Okay, so here's the origin of the, of the yellow card. Not etymologically, we can get to that, but... Because we will talk about we that. We will talk yeah. about the origin of the yellow card. Uh, uh, I have no idea. You're not allowed to check who was that. Uh, so, anyway, the yellow card is, as Sean explained it, there are ten songs that you get yellow carded for. And, you don't and get... we still don't know what ten. <laughs> we still don't know that. Yeah. We do know that Ed Sheeran is generally a mistake. Uh, like, just in general. <laughs> right, that's a whole Eddie song. Yeah. Like, that's a yellow card. And Errol's when, expense, when he was thank you, born, Errol. The doctor presented his parents with, <laughs> with a, a yellow, yellow card. card. Oh, no. And, I, I think Galway Girl is a yellow card. That is definitely a yellow card. Yeah. Especially in Galway. Uh, sure. Danny Boy. Uh, we think Danny Boy's on there, but we don't do Danny Boy. Uh, so we're okay there. Hashtag, we don't do Danny Boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like Sweet Caroline. Uh, I bet you. Although I seem to think they were all Irish tunes, I could be wrong about that. But it wouldn't surprise me if Sweet Caroline were a yellow card. I heard this though. Are you ready? This is a little bit of trivia. I was at a, a, a local trad session here at Pub Thirty Two, and um, I was going to play uh, Irish Washerwoman, and apparently Irish Washerwoman is a yellow card too. Who knew? I- the traditional and session. The session. I mean, and actually, they were these guys were really nice. They were really cool. He, they sort of gracefully let me know. Yeah, they usually don't hear that at sessions. And I go, I thought it was a pretty common song. And they go, Yeah, it's like the the really common song. It's the stairway. Yes. It's the smoke on the water. Smoke on the water of, of trad, trad session dogs. I, I gotta say, I've pretty well had a belly full of <laughs> trad session opinions. You know, you know what I mean? I would yeah. say well, that was definitely the downer part of the trip. Yeah. yeah, if there was one downer part, it was the trad session in Galway. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I'd like to say I'm sorry, but I'd rather say you're welcome, Holmes. Yeah, no, you no. Know what? Let me buy you a beer. Right. Well, why don't right. you have a very nice day? Right. Yeah. No, there wasn't a lot of that there. Nope. Yeah, and CJ called that guy out, too. I he know. was like, hey, man, why don't you ever smile? Yeah. <laughs> How about a smile? <laughs> It was great. I was like, you rock, CJ. It was oh, awesome. Yeah, CJ. yeah, exactly. Like, it was you that... come across these, like, nerdy flute players that, like, give you these side eye, like they're Michelle Obama or something. And it's just like, you know what? Honestly, you take your flute and go put it where the sun isn't shining, just like you're not smiling. Oh, boy. Actually, yeah. the, the flute guy was was okay. And the guitar was, guy was good. The whistle guy, which I don't want to say... Say something monolithic, but I'm going to. <laughs> Where was if the tin whistle guy? If your main instrument is the tin whistle, <laughs> then you have no main instrument. Yes. There you go. Your yes. main instrument is not main. Being an asshole. Ooh. <laughs> oh, tin whistle players we'd, we'd are gonna like, be up in arms. We'd like to apologize to any of the non-asshole <laughs> tin whistle weak, players out there. Flimsy arms. <laughs> Little he's, stick like arms. Just really, uh, when we finally meet the tin whistle player, that this is the, they're the yeah. exception. You're gonna eat yeah, your words. I, yes, they're when, gonna eat your words. When Zach. John Sheena sees this and <laughs> turns out he's a great tin whistle enthusiast. Uh oh. Then oh, I am in ass. trouble. You are. Or is like, it right there with the ukulele? I put the ukulele slightly above the tin whistle. Whoa! Or the hootie toot stick, as I prefer to call it. The hootie toot stick. stick. The hootie toot stick. Don't you have a tin whistle at home? Haven't you played the tin whistle? Shut up. <laughs> but, so here's the thing. Again, remember, my qualification is if it is your main instrument. Oh, uh, main instrument. Qualification. Okay. If you're like every other person who you're like, you know what? I have 30 minutes to kill. I think I'll learn this kid's instrument. <laughs> like I did. I have. Then, <laughs> there you go. So, uh, um...